Cathy has experienced violence twice. Her father was shot dead by the B Specials, a part-time reserve police force. My wedding day, I hadn't a father to walk me up the aisle. I hadn't had a father when my, my, my children had been born. 20 years later, she herself survived an IRA bombing. It claimed the lives of three policemen and a nun. She lives with that trauma. But there's other days when you're down and possibly you've heard something on the news, uh, you've been a memory has been triggered and it's brought back. There's never a day goes by that I don't think of Sister Catherine and the three policemen who were murdered. These portraits bear silent testimony to the cost of the troubles. Each of the subjects lost a loved one. I would invite Brandon Lewis and Boris Johnson to look into the eyes of eight, each of the 18 people and then to tell me how they don't count. The artist understands the challenge of addressing the past but says it doesn't compare with what these people endured. It's an easier task to deal with the past than it is to pick up the limbs and body parts of your loved one after they've been blown to bits on the street. It's an easier task to deal with the past than it is to bury your only child who was killed because of the street that they grew up on. Under pressure to halt historical prosecutions, the government had proposed a de facto amnesty for both British Army veterans and terrorists. But those involved in killings will now have to earn immunity by cooperating with the truth recovery process, effectively giving victims a choice between truth and justice. The, the process of justice has, has never knocked on their door and I would be concerned about that. Cathy wants to move on, but victims say they're entitled to truth and justice, not one or the other. David Blevins, Sky News in Armagh.